so previously in this video we created the tables precisely these one but now we have some values so we can we have these tables already in here we are just going to add this data into them so let's start with department so I'm gonna move my screen here you will not be able to see some of it but you can see the commands on the left one <coughs> so it's a new query window window I believe we were in we can see it's in department and the other one is course details that is this one so we can we will be using in these two so we can say use practice underscore two that's the table that we need to be in or the database practice two so we can run it and it will change here next we want to the command is insert into if you have watched this video a adding data into tables so that's what we're going to do use all this uh, from this video we're going to add data into this um, this data into this department that is right here department so we're going to insert this data in here and if this this is the smaller video adding data into table so you can see the command over there so I believe it's insert into table name that will be the bot and we can go with this mm, I believe it was this let's see so we were to add the department number and the department name so if you're not sure like if i have those columns or not you can always sp underscore help and table name that will be dpt You can do this and it will show you the columns in there should be and you can see oh we changes to DNO and department name so what I can do is I can run another command that is um, that was alter alter yeah that should be in here that other command that we're talking about is uh, rename a table so rename a column okay delete a column is there checked at ending columns to show all columns change column name so this one so this uh, this is the video that we can change the column name we're gonna go with that So it's not alter that's for the database or table uh, it's sp underscore rename I had to check actually <laughs> sp underscore rename and then department that's the table name right here and then dot and we have the DNO we check already right here we name rename it right it's not case sensitive so you don't have to worry about that and comma so we, we are telling it that this is the uh, column name in the table department that and what's the new name we can new name is as the what are we using in here department number so we can type as department number and we can close it And we are telling it that it's a column and semicolon is always to tell that it's one command execute this caution is always about uh, 
just a warning but it's it's not like an error so if I run it again you can see my is department number and I can pass department number now and I can do department name close it then go down values in values I can put 100 and you can see in department number the uh, it's an integer and this is our car variable character so 100 will go because uh, it's an integer so that's 100 comma department name is HR let's close it see if I'm able to run it <clears throat> running just one command is always advisable incorrect syntax, syntax error values I it's, the spellings are wrong let's try it one more time again invalid column name HR so probably I have to go with commas let's try it again one row is affected so what happened is that if I were to run it again I should see that no not this one um, let's run the other one select star from table name DPT so it should show me all the rows and you see 100 that I just passed and then HR that's department name so running just one is always good so you know that your syntax is correct then you can just copy paste it and you know go with that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy the first two lines I'm gonna just paste them and this time in values I'm gonna put the second one that is 200 in HR I'm gonna write finance right but I'm gonna remove this replace it with a comma meaning that I'm gonna pass more and then I I don't have to write root values I don't have to write this I can just go with uh, bracket and keep passing on whatever is there so if I is 300 then IT again comma I'm telling it I'm passing more values it's 400 comma and admin now I I close it I if you can see here oh god so if you can see I have no more to add so that's why I'm ending it with the semicolon so now I know my syntax is correct because I ran it earlier now I can run it again it should add two three four two three four in there let's run it see if we get it near keyboard insert ah that dot right there so execute three rows affected so this time if you remember when we run it, it said one rows affected this time it's saying three rows affected because three rows have been added if I were to run this one again it should show me 100 200 300 400 and the if you can if you want you can compare it side by side here right here so this table the data has been entered and I can save this script should I need to run this again lay in a drop a table so don't I don't have to write everything in I know it's correct I just run it and it will execute and add the data into this table